Welcome back to Takedown Wrestling. I'm Tony Hager. Today we're heading up north to Michigan. We're talking with NCAA All-American from Central Michigan, Justin Oliver in the Nike Wrestling Hot Seat. How are you doing today, Justin? Doing well. How about yourself? Good, good. You're, you're sporting a, a nice little shiner. Is that uh, the beauties of wrestling? Uh, if, when I had a couple of those in, in school, I had some chicks that kind of digged it. So, I mean, are you getting any looks for some, some chicks uh, on campus with it? I mean, uh, it happens here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit tougher sometimes. but uh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, did, did anything change for you on campus? You know, you were you had a great red shirt freshman year. Uh, you know, going uh, you wrestled a few tournaments, not a ton of matches, but uh, you know you, you claimed all American status last year. Did anything change for you on campus at all? I mean, uh, uh, this fire up chips up there. I, I've uh, hung out with some uh, some people from that school, and uh, they like to have a good time and support wrestling. Yeah, um, I mean, not only with the people. I mean, there's a lot more people that actually kind of know who I am now on campus that I don't necessarily know or was kind of surprised that they knew who I was. And then also the university has been pretty awesome about it. They've been putting up like there's a, uh, we have this wall of all Americans and it's got like a picture and then the way class and you're all American that got put up. So that's been pretty cool. But I'm looking at your high school career heading into you know, being a, it's just a different ball game when you go from being a top high school athlete to going to a college athlete. And you actually, you were a state champ your freshman and sophomore year, then got third and second. Uh, what was, uh, you know, what, what happened? What, why, um, what kind of, what happened your junior year? And can you kind of discuss a little bit about, uh, you know, the, maybe the matches a little bit that, uh, led you to you know not getting that junior and senior year state title yeah um my junior year actually at the very beginning of season i tore my meniscus and i actually went and got it repaired instead of getting it cut out <laughs> which obviously getting it repaired is a lot longer of a recovery it was supposed to be like a six-month recovery and it was literally the week before season like our first dual meet so i went and had that uh repaired and I ended up making my recovery in about three months. So by the time I was back, it was like district, regional time. So I jumped kind of right back into it without really getting a transition or being able to make sure my knee was fully <laughs> ready for it. But that aside, I went into my uh, semifinals match and I was wrestling Ken Bade, who now wrestles at Penn, I believe. And, uh, I mean, essentially, he just kind of beat me. <laughs> he was better than me at that given time. Granted, I'd like to believe had we wrestled maybe like a month later, it would have been like a different story. <laughs> yeah. You never forget those losses, do you? No, not a chance. <laughs> so your senior year, you know, was were you were you confident going into your senior year with your knee? Did you were you back yeah. or? My knee was my knee was good. My senior year, ironically speaking of the never forgetting thing, my senior year after I lost in the finals, my coach, uh, like literally five minutes after I lost, I was sitting there talking to my high school coach, and he was like, "I, I want to tell you that you're not going to remember this for the rest of your life, but you are." Yeah. <laughs> and I just lost, and I was just kind of like, <laughs> "That was that was some good advice there." Oh yeah, you you don't uh, you don't forget him. I was two time runner up, so I'm. I, <laughs> you were able to get two two state titles, which I never really was able to get. So for sure, my my losses in the finals is definitely something that I always think about. So uh, you know, going into where you wanted to go to college, did you know you wanted to stay home, or you were you recruited? Do you do you feel like your third and second place finish really kind of hurt you as far as recruiting goes nationally, or did you know you wanted to stay home? Um. I hadn't really known that I wanted to stay home, but um, I went on a couple of visits. I went out to North Carolina State, who obviously had a pretty successful year last year. But uh, I went out there. I was recruited a little bit by Iowa State, but it, I feel like it did definitely kind of hurt me a little bit with scholarship offers, at least. Not necessarily from a recruiting standpoint, but just from the offers. But when I went on my visit to Central, I kind of realized that I liked being – closer to home with my family being as supportive as they have been throughout my wrestling career and then I also just 
really felt like Central was a really good fit for me. Since you've been on campus, you had your your, your freshman year. Obviously, your red you know your red shirt freshman of the year. Great uh, great way to get started in the college college wrestling. What did you initially find out about you know going from one of the top kids in your state to being just another guy in the room? What did what did you find out? Uh, did you, was it something that you learned quickly? Like, did you get popped in the face like this black guy that you got now? Or was it something you kind of transitioned when you first started wrestling other other teams? Um, I was definitely a transition in the room for sure because coming to that college room, nobody really cares who you were in high school or what you did in high school. You're just another, another dude for them to beat up on. <laughs> but uh, coming in with kids like Zach Rand and Luke Smith being around my weight, I obviously took my fair share of uh, – a bruise a little bit when I first got in, but it definitely helped me realize that to be able to compete at the next level, you had to come into practice every day ready to bust bust your butt and uh, get stuff done. Well, you, going into last year, you know, you qualified for the NCAA championships. You were you were seated, not uh, seated to become an All American. What was your mindset going into going into the tournament, looking at your draw? Um, I had obviously saw that I was on the side of Rutherford, and Rutherford was obviously the <laughs> NCAA champion. Ended up being, but uh, looking at the draw, I mean, obviously I would have been a little bit happier being on the other side. I feel like being on the other side, I would have had a better chance of making the finals. But um, I just kind of went out there knowing that. First off, I couldn't lose the first match or else it was going to be a long road back because the loser's bracket of the NCAA tournament is obviously a uh, tough little <laughs> tough little road. So I knew that I had to get that first win out of the way. And having it be my first NCAA tournament, I knew it was going to be a little bit tougher than what it may look like it could be on paper. So I got myself mentally prepared for that. And then um, I had imagined that I was going to wrestle Henderson and not Claygon in the second round match. And Claygon obviously ended up upsetting uh, Henderson. So I was just looking to win three matches when I first walked in because I knew three matches and you all American. So, yeah, so you've gotten that hurdle. You've, you've done it. You've become an all American. What, what's, what's the next step for you? What have you been working on in the off season that you learned from, from uh, the 2016 season? The biggest thing I've been working on right now has been my top and bottom wrestling. Obviously, on bottom against Rutherford, I end up getting pinned, which you never really want to have happen. So that kind of made me realize that I obviously have a lot of work to do on bottom. So I've been working on that a lot. And then on top, last year, I think I had four pins throughout the year. And uh, I think this year I've been, been working on trying to wrestle a little bit more dominantly and look for more falls on top. So I've been working on those two things, looking to hopefully get people on the mat and do work from there. On a couple of set of the rankings, you are ranked to be an, all, you know, an all American once again, top eight. And uh, looking at your weight class, looking at the other wrestlers, you know, what are your thoughts on some of the, you know, other guys like Micah Jordan, Brand Sorensen, obviously you've met, mentioned Rutherford a couple of times you know, what are your thoughts on this overall weight class that you, you're you sitting at uh, projected to be an All-American again? Um, it's obviously a uh, pretty tough, it's a pretty deep weight class. There's a lot of talent everywhere you look. Like, not much separation from the top 10 guys between the, the last, like, 30. But uh, this year we're seeing... Seeing all the the new people put into the rankings at 49 and all the same people, I kind of I feel confident going into this year and knowing that for the most part it's people I've already seen or people that I know how they wrestle, and then with the uh, with the addition of Micah Jordan and Solomon Cisco, obviously it's gonna only add to the deepness and toughness of the weight class, but I still feel very confident in my abilities to uh, come back this year and perform even better than last year. I mean, looking at your, your guys' schedule here, you're in the MAC conference, which is turning out to be 
it's it's growing into a powerhouse conference. I love the MAG conference. Obviously, Northern Iowa, just a couple hour drive for us. But uh, you, know, you got Wisconsin on the schedule, um, so we have a tough matchup right there. What other tournaments do you feel like you know you're gonna maybe run into some of these guys at that you've kind of circled on your calendar that heck I need to be ready. <laughs> um, I would say honestly just about every tournament but uh yeah. the one of the bigger tournaments is probably would have to say is going to be the las vegas invite and then the midlands with obviously uh Sorensen being at midlands that's kind of a big marker on my calendar for sure i'm excited for that matchup because i haven't wrestled him yet and a lot of people see him as like the standout number two guy obviously how he finished second last year but i've yet to match up with him and i feel like i have have a good uh good style to wrestle against him were you guys at the midlands last year no we went to the southern scuffle last year yeah which... so you'd have a possible matchup with uh Sorens in there i know the hawks are going are yeah, going there so you know you've got you've got an opportunity to really test yourself earlier in the season yeah. and um yeah, I gotta imagine that's gonna get you set up for ultimate goals to go, you know, back to back all Americans. Uh, overall, looking at your team, you know, how how do you feel uh, this team is coming along? You're one of a, you know, you're your young leader for these uh, for the Chippewas. Uh, so, you know, talk a little bit about your team that you've got uh, put together here. I feel like we're gonna actually surprise a lot of people this year. We have a lot of people that are kind of flying under the radar a little bit, but. Uh, we're definitely going to have a solid team. I try to lead more so by example than I do necessarily by words because I'm not exactly the loudest person in the room, but I feel like I've set the precedent that when we go to practice every day, we're going to work hard and we're going to we're going to do everything to the best of our ability and make sure we get everything out of practice that we can. And I think that's going to cause a lot of uh, a lot of other kids on our team who aren't necessarily bigger names yet to step in and make a make a splash on the college scene so i'm definitely excited for what we have sounds good well i appreciate you being on the show justin oliver central michigan ncaa division one all american at 149 pounds ranked uh, in the top 10 in multiple polls top eight in a, in a few so uh, we look forward to uh this uh coming season seeing you in st louis awesome thanks for having me and uh Hopefully I'll be on top of the podium at the end of the uh, year. Fire up chips. Yes, sir.